smart x together so to all excel users i'm going to show you this is how to make a three way or 3d frame in frames i'm going to make into frames a new type of calculator so you'll be showing you how to use frames and apart from that how to have a calculator in the frame so you can have multiple things in a frame so what actually is the frame so if you go we can see go to view codes and you see there is no, nothing over here in model so you have to go and insert a user form so when you have a user form you can see this user form dialog box so now if you want to have something you have to create a form so you can go to a frame for this so the toolbox and you can see a multiple page so this is called a frame instead of frame so when you click this frame you will get a another form so now you can have multiple calculators whatever you require so if you want you can add new pages and if you want you can rename these pages so this is the first page and if you want you can rename it into whatever name you require total calc so it's better to give a small name so in this frame i'm going to show you how to use a different calculator so you can have multiple type of calculators in each frame so let's start with uh, the calculator for total so it will have a three uh, it will have three labels and three text boxes so if i'm going to draw this as a label label one and this will be naming as duration so the caption will be the same so i can if you want i can copy this and i will paste this but i will make this into this format so if you want you can give some uh, fancy color for this And you can change this into bold and so instead of uh, doing this again and again what i will be doing is i'm copying this control c you can see copy and paste and again i want to paste so there are three so I'll be changing this captions for each. So this is duration unit and this is I'll be naming this as per month or per unit. So I'll copy this and I'll paste this into a caption. And I will be doing this in the So you can just make it a little more bigger one. And soon I will be making as annual or total. So this label will be annual underscore total. So again, I'll be copying this control C and I'm putting this in the captions. Now we have three labels. Now I want to have text boxes. This is a text box. Text box one. And I want to put this in some value so zero and I'll make this in left alignment 
and again I'll be changing this so control C I'll be pasting this here control C and control V and again control V So this is the total, so I'll be making this in the alignment in the middle. So you have a box ready now. Now I want to add some codes in this. So let's see how to start the codes with. So the first code, if you, if you just check this out. So if you do anything, nothing is working with us. There are no codes in that. So the first code I'll be using is for annual total. So annual total will be like uh, this text multiplied by this should be the answer over here. So this box is text box one so i will be naming this as duration text box and this text box You can give any name, and this is total. So, so when I click this, I want uh, the answer here should be this multiplied by this. So we have to write a code for that. So now this total. So just click this. So if you copy this control C come back here and paste it here equals to duration copy this multiplied by this value control C so such control C control C is over here so all the names you have to copy so this is a simple method i'm showing you if you don't remember remember the names so this will help you in remembering these things so we got this so let's go and check this answer so if i make this into two so you can see that it's working fine now so when you multiply it through it's giving you the answer so this was the first code written here. So now if, if I want to make this into a reverse pattern, if I want to have this answer over here, I'm not getting it because I have to write the reverse codes for that also. So this is how I've showed you the beginning. So this is the part one of this video. So I don't want to make a lengthy video. So first just practice this. So once if you are done with this, then I'm going to show you how to write codes. So it will be a three way or three D three way calculator. So I hope you find this video useful and uh, please wait for my another video, which I'll be showing you shortly on the same subject. Thank you very much for watching.